All right, so I put on my dirt bike helmet here. I'm gonna be going to do a little quick vlog about the Sea Dew GTX Limited Edition. It's a 99. Uh, a lot of work has been done to it. Full carb rebuild. Um, needs a new choke cable. The reverse lever doesn't work still, but otherwise it runs pretty decent. Might need some more carb work. The carb I think has some problems with the small jets the ones that go at low idle uh, it runs really rough at idle doesn't like to stay at idle or low p.m. low rpm and I'm gonna run this speedometer app uh, on GPS because the speedometer on the actual jet ski doesn't work so we're gonna get started here I'm gonna screen record once we get out to the water the main part of the lake here and show everybody what's up uh, it's super shallow back here at our dock uh, so <clears throat> we gotta kinda scoot out of here to get it to fit not suck up any of this lily pad junk through the uh, water inlet port so let's get her started Once it gets up on plane, it's pretty good. Uh, get out of here. I don't have much GoPro battery or much gas. Uh, but I love how smooth this channel is because there's no boats that go out of it. Because it's generally too shallow for any boat except a pontoon or a bass boat with a trolling motor. Uh, so we just kind of scoot out of here. I had a problem here recently with water coming into it. I might make a little video about that soon, but it's already fixed. Basically what happened was there's the carbon ring, which uh, most seated people are aware of, failing, causing massive leaks. But uh, I was pumping, putting the pump back on after changing the reverse cable nut, and uh, there was a little piece of rubber at the end of the drive shaft that goes into the impeller that was causing the drive shaft to be pushed forward this way into the engine and it was causing a gap between that carbon ring and then a ring on the metal ring on the drive shaft and it was leaking horribly almost sank it but thankfully i got that fixed i took that rubber piece out everything is cool it's a beautiful day it's kind of overcast it's supposed to rain but i wanted to get out here while we have a little bit of gas the lake's super calm this is gonna be good for a top speed run to see how fast this jet ski can go i just want to get it a little warmed up uh, then we'll hit a top speed run, then we'll rip around the lake a little bit, uh, have some fun on the GoPro. Uh, I wish there was a better way to vlog because it looks kind of goofy if you can see in the mirror. Wearing a dirt bike helmet on the lake on a jet ski, but you know, you win some, you lose some, and we're still going to have some freaking fun out here. It's been a minute since the last video because we just bought this house a month ago. Uh, so we've been getting settled in and enjoying the lake obviously and I feel like it's time for a, another upload since it's been kind of absent for a minute uh, So I'm gonna go over here and get us set up for a little Fast pull action. I don't know how much time this gas will actually last. It's got two bars on it But I heard that sea dew underrates the gas fuel uh, Gauge so that way people will get back without running out of gas but we're gonna find out. There's a big log sticking up right there. That's safe. All right, I don't want to disturb these fishermen out here. So, I'm gonna see if it'll idle. Probably won't. It was running pretty good over the weekend on the water. Yep, it died. All right, so break out my phone real quick. Uh, searching for GPS. Let's do a screen recording. And it's recording. We're kind of drifting, so it still says one mile an hour, but I think this thing's pretty accurate. So I'm going to stow that back in there. Get this bad boy running again. There we go. Alright, and here's 
a top speed test. Feels like we're going into the wind a little bit. A little choppy out here with the wind. Not totally glass smooth. I think we're basically at max right now. And this is about as fast as it'll go. I read online that these should go about 60. Uh, this feels a little underpowered for what it normally does, honestly. It usually rips a little bit harder than this, so uh, I think it might be a little bit under. But it also could be because I have a helmet on and can't hear the true sound of the engine right now. But we're just floating out here. A little choppy right here. Yeah, that's a little bumpy. So, you're going to see it live. I'm not. Uh, so, I'm wondering what we hit. If you guys have one of these or a one similar, similar model, should drop it down in the comments. Tell us what your jet ski gets, your 90s to early 2000s. Bombardier or Bomb Raider, Bomb, however you say it. But I'm just gonna rip it around a little bit before we have to go in. Due to gas and limited GoPro battery. So I'm gonna see if I can keep it running here. The choke lever, a choke cable. Oh, look, it's running, wow. The choke cable is almost broke completely uh, so it doesn't like to stay running uh, it's like we're not tightened up enough at all so I stick this clip under there to keep it a little bit raised up but it's not really enough uh, so I got the new cable in I'm just waiting for I'm probably gonna pull it out today and fix that might make a little video on that too well, there's a little there's a little boat out here they're gonna get wet I was gonna swim but the sun is not out and the water is still pretty chilly since how early in the summer it is. Uh, next weekend, it's supposed to be like 90 though, so we're going to hopefully take advantage of that. But let's get back to it. Starts right up now. Need to just got to warm up a little bit. slide action it gets in there that's so fun it's a little sketchy because somehow the water inlet is like up here and it still comes out of the water somehow but let's go down this way we're still at two bars it's like an electric jet ski we got the tesla of the jet skis out here at sea do showing the bars instead of an actual fuel gauge uh, we're at one bar of fuel now i think the video is about over <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn back. Look at these little wakes. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. They're not that big, but they're big enough to have a little fun on. Let's see if I can find them again. This boat over here looks like it's putting up a decent wake. We're going to race them unknowingly to them. Paddle's still there. Alright, we 
better go back before we run out of gas. So this G this Sea Doo is an awesome jet ski. A little bit of a fuel guzzler. It's fun though. Being out on the lake again is awesome. The jet ski is awesome. The basic power of it, the power of this jet ski for the value where you can pay like for a 90s, early 2000s jet ski. This is uh, one to get. You can find them on Facebook Marketplace for decent prices. And I think if you can find one, definitely should. That's a nasty rain cloud up there. So I'm gonna book it back before it gets too nasty. Take this thing out of the water. And that is it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more motorsports videos. We're gonna be doing some interesting things that you might not expect. We're wanting to stand out from different moto vlog channels by doing different types of moto vlogging a dirt bike, street bikes, para motoring. Hopefully soon I can get a helmet with set up for para, para vlogging, as most of them call it. Uh, the jet ski, you know, we're gonna do all sorts of videos and reviews, different things like that. And I'm really looking forward to making these videos and sharing some fun experiences with everybody. And again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy these videos. Drop a comment, a like. Peace.